Hi guys, welcome to another Image Occlusion Enhanced tutorial video. This one will be about the new editing feature that was introduced in Image Occlusion version 1.0. So in order to demonstrate this feature I will first have to find a note which actually needs editing. And for this purpose I've prepared a note which comes with a lot of mistakes on it. And in this case for instance we have a, um, a wrong header or a typo in the header we have three different shapes that are not covering their uh, corresponding labels properly. We also have one label that is not covered at all. And then we have a custom label down here which is um, pointing to the wrong structure. Okay, so let's see how we can modify each of these things so that we can correct the mistakes. First thing we have to do is go into Anki's editing screen which we can launch with the E key. And in here we will be presented with a new button which will launch Image Occlusion Enhanced in editing mode. Now this user interface should be familiar to you. It's pretty much the same as when you're adding an Image Occlusion node. The difference lies in the buttons down here which we will go over very soon. But first let's see how we can change that header field that had the typo in it. This is very easy. You just have to switch to the Fields tab and any mistake or anything you modify in here will then be applied to all of the nodes that um, that belong to that specific image occlusion node set. So let's see what will happen if we now click on the Edit Cards button. As you can see, the mistake was corrected and it wasn't just corrected on this specific node or card but it was also corrected in all of these different um, cards that were generated in that specific set. So once again to reiterate, anything you modify when editing a node will be applied to all of the image occlusion nodes that belonged to that set. So in this then instance we had five different nodes that were generated in image occlusion and all of these nodes were now updated with the new corrected header field. Okay, let's go back to this and see if we can edit these mistakes here with the shapes. So once again we head into Image Occlusion Enhanced Edit in the editing screen of Image Occlusion Enhanced and what we now have to do is just modify these existing shapes, put them into the right position and if we then click on Edit Cards, all of these mistakes should now be corrected on all of the nodes that were generated in the Im image occlusion set. So the thing about editing existing nodes, and one important thing I want to state, is that as long as you preserve the existing shapes, as long as you just reshape them, modify them, change the color, then that card that is corresponding to that shape will also be preserved. Now if you delete an existing shape and replace it for a, with a new one for instance uh, or redraw it then that will delete the existing card that goes alongside with it. So each of the shapes in editing mode actually represents the card that was generated based on it. So if you want to preserve your scheduling information for that specific card you just have to make sure to preserve the image occlusion shape. Okay so let's see how we can change this here, how we can draw a new occlusion shape over it. And this works in the same way as with um, as when editing, when adding I mean image occlusion nodes, you just have to draw a new shape over it. And if we now click on the edit cards button, the add-on will prompt us to confirm this action because the number of shapes was, um, was changed. And in this case it was changed in a way that will create one new card for this occlusion set. Okay, so let's confirm this and see what will happen. And yeah, as you can see, there is our new occlusion shape on the image. And that of course applies to all of the cards that were generated in that image occlusion set. The same thing also applies in reverse. If you remove a shape like this one again, then once again the add-on will notify you that that specific card will be deleted. and Accordingly, if we do this, we can then confirm in the browser that that specific node was actually deleted. So as you can see, this label is now uncovered again because we deleted the shape on top of it. Okay, so 
as we finished reviewing these cards I want to also show you I want to use this chance to show you that you can also edit notes from the browser you don't have to be in the reviewer the same button also appears in the editing section of the browser so let's perform all of the edits that are that we will show subsequently in the browser and the first thing I want to now show you is that you can also edit custom labels you might have drawn on the image so in this case this label right here which is called pons is wrong of course this arrow is pointing to the cerebellum so let's change this and once again if we click on edit cards then all of these cards will be updated with the new label there we go so it's present on all of the cards that are in this image occlusion set okay so as the next thing I want to show you is what will happen if you modify the grouping of different items now if you've seen one of my previous videos you know that you can you know that you can actually um, group different shapes into one single shape by using the G button so if we now group these two shapes what will happen is that the add-on will delete the cards that are corresponding to these two shapes and generate a new one which corresponds to the new group that was formed so if we confirm this we should see that we now only have four different nodes which correspond to the new shapes we defined and one of them will then of course have this group in it the same applies in reverse if we edit an existing group and dissolve it with the G key again then the corresponding card that was the group that represented the group will be deleted and two new ones will be generated for the cards that we um, created by ungrouping these two different shapes so if we check this yeah we now have five different nodes instead of just four okay so these are the most important things you can modify when editing a node two more things I want to show you first of all you can actually modify the occlusion type as we saw before the occlusion was set to the uh, non-overlapping type or rather the uh, hide all reveal one type which it is now called in image occlusion version 1.0 if we want to change this we can just use this drop down section down here by default this is set to not change the existing occlusion so if you just edit cards without changing anything in here then the occlusions will remain in that specific mode but we can select any type of mode in here and change the cards to it so let's use the hide one reveal all mode which is corresponding to the overlapping type all right so if we now preview the cards we see that it is using the overlapping type where just one specific um, label is actually covered at a time on the question side okay and the last thing I want to show you is that you can now actually also change the base image that is below the occlusions and for that we just use the change image button down here on the left side unfortunately the uh, and Anki is a bit unstable on the system so I have to restart it so uh, hold on for a sec All right so there we go again once again if we go into the editing screen and click on the change image button we can actually select a different image as the base image so let's use this one the important thing to keep in mind when changing the image is that the existing shapes will all be preserved and if the base image that we had before was larger than a new one then of course the shapes will be outside of the field of view of the image so in this case changing the image didn't really make much sense because the image here is a completely different one which with completely different information on it but um, if we remember if I remember correctly then one of the shapes down here at least um, covered the hippocampus so let's say this shape down up here used to cover the hippocampus I don't think it actually did cover the hippocampus but let's say it did and we just wanted to preserve the scheduling information on that card that what what we can then do is just delete all of the other shapes and also delete the label which doesn't really much make much sense down here and then we can just move this occlusion on the hippocampus 
Now, of course, this will be cha will change a lot about the image, and accordingly, we will see that this will delete four of the cards, the four shapes we just deleted, and won't create any new one because we just reused an existing shape to cover up this label down here. So let's confirm this. Now, as you can see, we just have one occlusion left, as we would have expected. Okay, I think that's the most important things covered. Um, one of the important notes I wanted to add about this is that um, editing existing notes only works with the new image occlusion enhanced note type that was introduced with, with um, version 1.0 of the add-on. If you want to edit older cards, older notes that you might have created with older versions of image occlusion enhanced or even with image occlusion 2.0, then you have to perform a very specific procedure to actually make them editable. Now this procedure is documented in the image occlusion wiki, but I'm gonna try to also release a video on this soon. But as far as editing notes that were created with the new version of the add-on is concerned, this should have been should should be covered with this video for the most part. I'm also going I'm also going to release a new video soon um, about some advanced editing features, which I didn't have the time to cover in this video. But yeah, I hope this served as a good introduction to editing notes, and I hope to see you soon in one of the next videos. Bye.